Welcome everyone back to Medieval Kingdoms Total War 1212 AD and with my successful Denmark campaign where I formed the Danish Empire coming to a close we are starting a new campaign playing as the Kingdom of Hungary this time so we're playing on hard of course just like usually we do and our initial challenge for some reason is easy we have strong diplomacy we have lack of heavy infantry though which could be a problem we do have minus two public order from political conflicts. We have Kingdom of the Magyars. We have enforced church authority, versions of the Hungarian crown, and settlement of migrating nomads. So we are Catholic Christianity, of course, so this will be the start of a new campaign in my favorite mod so far for Attila Total War. I mean, if you want to get an experience close to Medieval 3, if they're ever going to come out with a Medieval 3, this is probably the closest we'll ever get to it that's going to be historically accurate. Now coming in, we have mod credits. We have the Pope. As a Catholic faction, we must play a precarious game of managing both my feudal vassals and the clergy. At the helm of the clergy lies the Pope, supreme ruler of the Catholic Church. Appeasing the Pope may be in your best interest, as displeasing him can have dire consequences. We have war weariness. We currently don't have any. We don't need to worry about that, do we? Now, coming in, we do have a e predicted income of... It's not very good don't have good income we don't have a very good economy so we're gonna have to actually conquer some people we're gonna have to conquer some people quickly to actually get better income now let's see we do have that let's see what decisions we have uh, found an empire become the Hungarian Empire if we control 18 regions that might be the goal of our campaign, but we'll see how far we can actually get. Our king is Andras, apparently. So we do have a son. Yes, we do. Okay, good. Let's go research some technology. Wealth plus five. We do need some of that. Let's see diplomacy. We are the fifth strength ranking of five. We have a... Um, we do have a client state in the Kingdom of Croatia, actually, and we have a military alliance with the Grand Duchy of Serbia. Now, there are a lot of other factions here and there that somewhat like us and don't like us at the same time. Maybe we could go after the Duchy of Lesser Poland if we can concentrate all their forces on their capital. We might be able to take them out easily could attack the Grand Casinate of Halak Volhynia. Although maybe trade with them would be kind of valuable for the moment. As it would help our income tremendously. Now who are these guys? These guys do have quite a some of a garrison. These guys have a lot of they have a lot of units. Maybe we could go after the Cumans potentially once they are busy dealing with the Mongols. We could expand south into the Tsardom of Bulgaria's territory. So our diplomacy does. We do have good diplomacy, at least. Except for a couple of the factions that don't really like us, such as the Cumans. We do have an non-aggression pact with the Cumans right now. So, how are we going to solve this like economic stuff? We do have like negative public order due to the religious differences in certain regions. We hunger for battle. Now the units we can get, we do have actually some nice units, it's just that we don't have the best economy starting coming into the game. But we can get some nice units from the settlements, except for that one. 
Some nice swordsmen. Moldavian warriors. We have crossbowmen. For some reason, though, they... Our cavalry is good, though. Our swordsmen have cool unit cards, but I'm not sure how good they actually are. Now we have other... And now to the west of us, so for the map, we have reclined states, military allies over here. We have other factions in this area. We have people that don't like us over here as much. And then we have these other factions just hanging out around. Such as the Duchy of Austria, Republic of Venice. Pretty sure all of these are like the little Holy Roman Empire client states. Unless we could attack the Duchy of Silesia. Potentially. Because we are a great power. But it's just we need to get over there quick enough. And then we can take Krakow out. As well as Haya Halleck. So. First things first. Let's get some governors assigned. Make sure they're loyal. We don't have any disloyal traits right okay good our power is balanced that's that's good i mean most of my guys are loyal i'm gonna assign you over to maybe belgrade or somewhere where the public order is the lowest vesprem i might assign you though to vesprem I can get four governors. Get an edict over here. I'm gonna get the public order plus four, even though it does hurt the tax rate, but then I can get like a different edict somewhere else. I'm gonna get somewhere over at Estergom. And we're going to levy the taxes. Levy the taxes. I want you over at, I can't really pronounce that, over here, and I want you to also construct rural way houses, get some more wealth, and we can get one more governor over at, oh, wait, I have two more settlements, uh, Belgrade should be a good one, capital, I can always change the edicts later when things start getting bad, so we'll keep it like that. Gain some money here and there. In the meantime, I, if I leave it, they do. It does have some problems, but it's not going to be too much of a worry for now. As we will attack the Duchy of Silesia once we have enough units. Might want to garrison here for the time being. I mean, we aren't losing too much money. These guys aren't a lot of... Well, they are somewhat of an upkeep. Especially the cavalry. And I want my main army to actually have good units, so... I'm going to get some... A couple swordsmen. I have militia crossbowmen. Huh. None of these guys are really that good. How much are these guys? Four, four turns. I might just get these guys over here. Where's the lowest settlement? I might send... Oh no, wait. I could just uh, send some of the troops over from this army. I maybe send the cavalry over since I, that cavalry is fairly of a decent size. Send them over. And I want you to go back to Pex because to garrison that city. Hmm. These guys are like bow infantry. Uh, okay, it's kind of hard to decide. I might want, I might have to disband a couple units. Maybe like a couple crossbowmen, just in case our economy is not good enough. But by this way, I have a decent sized army. I might just send everyone over here. Of 
for now. Now my king has a, a, a better army. This guy I'm going to send back over to Pex. And I will just maybe recruit one unit for the moment, just to keep it, uh... Oh, two and it's 180. I might just get swordsmen, or should I get Modavian warriors? They do. They are disciplined. Come, fight with us. The Modavian warriors have, are resistant to fatigue, and they do have stamina and shield wall. Hmm. These guys are disciplined, so I'm going to put them in for now. It's going to cost a little bit of money. But I think it should be fine. Maybe actually it would have been wiser to keep him to raise the... Get that unit from over here. A sword unit. Wait a couple of turns, and then our economy can go back up. Then we'll attack our first target. End of turn. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to join a crusade or not. I hope not. Our south is pretty secure. Our borders are actually very secure. We have war declared. Duchy of Lesser Poland and the... Uh, Yacht of Egans, Foreign Trespasser. War declared. Kumin Kipchaks. Ulus Jochi. Kumin Kipchaks. Kipchaks, they're at war with everyone. Faction encountered. We've encountered a lot of factions. Can we get trade with any of these? No, we can't. We have to have like a... Oh, man. It's too bad we can't actually trade with them because we have to have a... A port. A sea. A sea port. These guys... I'm going to send them back over here because the public order is getting worse. Not too bad, but... Still not good. Meanwhile, I'm still getting my guys ready. I might want to raise another army. It will cost... How much is this? It will cost a considerable amount, but our economy should go up. Army founded. I'm going to keep them there at Vezpram and then start raising some forces. Now once this army is done, I'm going to start pushing them against these guys, Duchy of Silesia, kick them out, and then maybe push against Poland and Halic Volhynia, and, and then like maybe we can try to take out the Cumans as well, because the Cumans should be a fairly easy target, although they have moved some of their troops over here though. And we will end the turn. So usually the first, for some time, you might want to actually manage your uh, kingdom first before you actually start expanding. Because most of the factions, they don't really go to war against you. War declared. War declared. Unit recruited. Now, we have a 20-unit army now under our King Andras, and our economy is just barely holding on. I mean, it might be wise to get rid of maybe one of the units that we aren't going to really use for the early part of our campaign yet, because we're not really ex going to expand eastward to, the, to these guys just yet. We might want to take out, um, take Rowcraw, because... It's a Catholic faction, so we don't have to sit around dealing with public order as much. So much as this band, a couple of these horsemen. Maybe one of these guys. And one of these guys. We have... Yeah, our economy is much better now. And over here, we'll replace them with... Should I get Croatian Cavalry? Maybe for now, early on, we should get cheaper units, and then when our economies... It's 
takes like four turns just to get these guys. Might want to get a variety of units, including crossbowmen, since they do do some damage. I mean, crossbows are pretty expensive. I might just get a corrosion cav unit. Get that for now. Then we'll. These guys aren't really at war with anyone. And if we have enough men, we can take out their garrisons pretty quickly. So we'll just uh, end the turn. The Fifth Crusade, War Declared, and War Declared. I might get rid of this guy just to save some cash here. This public order should be fine. Over here, public order is not very good. But we should be able to start pushing against these. They, they always have a large garrison for whatever reason in this game. So it takes like a, it's too long just to siege them out. We don't have very good infantry starting off. We do have very good cavalry, which we might use to our advantage, as well as a couple extra units. Let's keep ending this turn until something important happens and, or until our units are fully recruited so Grand Duchy of Serbia they are at war with the they're now at war with the Sardom of Bulgaria so maybe that changes completely where I can expand hmm should I attack them or should I decline? Because I was really ho hoping to go up here. Because then I'll go to war. I'll, I'll be at war with these guys as well. And they're right on my border. I just decline it. I'm not going to... I'm not going to take it. Not now. Although, Wallachia might be an easy target too. Let them fight each other out. That does hurt my uh, diplomatic relations with. Ooh. Due to the broken treaties. Yeah, I'll get non aggression with them for now. So they don't attack me. I might actually want to get non aggressions, maybe to increase my income with some of these random factions. What well, doesn't really increase my income? It's, I'm trying to find like a person that likes me enough so they'll pay me to get a non-aggression pact but it doesn't appear that anyone wants non-aggression why, why did you make me pay you you tricked me AI these guys I'm gonna actually decide to get them moving this way Nope, no, not there. I almost trespassed in their, their own territory. Actually, no, that was my territory. That, I'm, I'm, that's dumb. I am dumb. But, uh, okay. Public order here is fine. 282. Does that mean that I can potentially get two more units? Or one more cav? I can get one more unit though. I'm 
going to get swordsmen. Actually, no, I'm going to get Modavian warriors for two more turns. Send these guys over here. And then I'll send these guys out to help with this, help this army. And then we'll attack whoever. Let these guys fight each other out. We don't worry about them. Could attack Cumans or these guys. Now we are keeping our armies moving. It's been... It's going to be some time before we can expand, as we need to get out of... We need to get recruiting while worrying about our not very well-made economy. These guys keep on trespassing my territory for whatever reason. I'm not paying you for non-aggression. You're not getting me into that. Again. Oh, no. Popes called a crusade to Cairo, calling upon all religious, righteous Catholics to take up the cross. It's nice how they actually got to add a cutscene into it, which makes the mod even better. Just wait till this mod's actually fully done and works. His Holiness hopes the conquest of Egypt will provide a staging ground to retake the rest of the Holy Land for Christianity. I mean, the Ubids still control. The choice now befalls you. Should you participate in the crusade, you may gain the Pope's favor and many riches, but sit it out and there may be consequences. Cumans are at war with so many people, like I said. Okay, now my economy is a little better. I need to garrison this settlement here. I don't know what's wrong with this settlement. Taxes. I don't even have an edict there. I send these guys to, gar to garrison Pex for now. This army should be good enough to conquer. To be able, two armies should be good enough to take out that settlement over there. These guys garrison here. Belgrade. I might want to build a baker, as just in case. Oh, these guys are super cheap. I can get like three of them. Actually, no, I can't. Why was I thinking I could get like three? I can only get like two of them. But it'll help with the addition of a larger army. We have unassigned skills already. That we have to deal with our first of the unassigned skills and the turn for now Okay. My influence minus twenty. Please don't tell me that that causes some disloyal. We already have wars going on between several different factions. My economy just went down because I recruited these units, so we're gonna have to increase it eventually. Send most of my men over to this guy. So this guy will have the main army, and this guy will just garrison the realm. Like I said, we are losing money, so we do need to take a settlement quickly before we run out of 
before we go bankrupt. And we're going to have to actually take it quickly. We have 11 Commander. units. How much do these guys have? They have 15, including their garrison. I don't, actually, no, they don't have much as much as we do. I don't, I don't think they do. I mean, there's no point in force marching it, so I'll start sending these guys over. Keep these guys garrisoned here to um, keep the provinces pacified. I mean, at least it's not decreasing by too much every turn. Let's move these guys over into Rokraw. We have trespass, but that's trespassing. So we'll just end the turn now. They're offering me. Yes, good, good, good. Finally, I'm actually making money. The Duchy of Austria, which would eventually take over the Holy Roman Empire, but right now they don't rule the Holy Roman Empire yet. I am oh yes, you're offering me money for non-aggression pact. Yes, yes, finally. You have recruited so many. Don't care. Mongol Empire... No, we're gonna have to fortify. It's winter. Food shortage. Non-aggression pact. Gonna have to move here. Like over here. And then next turn we should be able to move in. And then attack them. Hopefully we don't lose too many men due to attrition. Okay, we've garrisoned Pex. I don't know why we always have negative traits in every faction. But I guess... We have long admired your powerful I am not joining the war. No matter how much you pay. You would be foolish indeed to sure, I'll get military access with you. Maybe I should have actually declined that so then I got so that I could get more money from them after. We have some attrition going on. Well, not too much that we have to worry about. They didn't increase the size, so that's good. Alright, get them out of that. Declare war on the Duchy of Silesia. Well, first we have to break the treaties we have with them. Don't want to trade with you anymore. Declare war. Let's go take them out. And of course, they have a sizable garrison. So auto resolve is against us, but we are sending in the backup army as well to help. We have eleven units. To hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, they do have ten. I might have to just siege them out for now. They don't have any allies, at least. And we're not going to get any rebellions anytime soon. These guys are expanding as well, aren't they? We're losing a lot of money. So we might have to like let... Uh... I'll wait one, one turn, but this is going to be the end of this episode. And I'll see you all in the next one.